How you doing there folks? This is Dublin City Today. I am Sean and you guys are very very welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, you may see from the title of the video um, that I have recently won a court case. I'm going to explain a little bit more. Um, many of you may remember on Easter Sunday 2021 outside the GPO um, during lockdowns I turned up to the GPO uh, to record a reading of the proclamation um, and I, I arrived there as a member of the media and while I was there I was approached by members of the Gardaí who told me um, that I couldn't be there and I told them I absolutely can, I'm a member of the media and uh, media uh, were deemed essential workers during the lockdown and as an essential worker, as a member of the media and an essential worker I did in fact have a right to be there so they told me I needed to uh, leave the area immediately and uh, which I replied no, um, I don't have to leave the area they told me that if I didn't leave the area they would arrest me under the um, um, COVID-19 uh, legislation that was brought in and I told them, well, if you do arrest me, um, it's going to be an unlawful arrest because um, I am media and media are covered under that legislation as essential workers. So I stood my ground and um, they duly arrested me, uh, as you may remember. They put me in handcuffs and they put me in a van, drove me up to Mount Joy Garda Station where they put me in a cell for three hours and eventually um, charged me. Now, that um, uh, case has been going through um, the courts for the last two years and on Tuesday the 28th of February just gone I actually won that case and um, the judge uh, did deem um, in fact that I was media and um, that I did have a right to be there and um, acquitted me of the charges um, that I was up on um, um, from the time. So it's a great win um, um, for Dublin City today and a great win for myself but it's a great win for um, um, people of the media um, who aren't, let's say, uh, mainstream media um, because um, um, they didn't mention in any legislation that it was mainstream media or social media or whatever, it's media, you know, and um, as free press um, I uh, had a right to be there and the judge obviously um, agreed with me. So that case is now finished, it's a win and um, I'm going to be meeting up with my legal team um, to discuss what we're going to do moving forwards because as far as I'm concerned um, to arrest somebody who's an essential worker during a lockdown um, is unacceptable, um, uh, to be honest with you, you know. Um, I found it unacceptable at the time. I found her de demeanour unacceptable at the time. And um, I refused to be intimidated. Um, and I was right um, with um, uh, my stance, again, as the, uh, the judge and the courts have ruled in my favour. So, like I say, I will be meeting up with the legal team and we're going to move forwards um, um, I won't say too much um, exactly um, which way we're going to go, but I'm not prepared to leave it at that um, by no means. It's completely unacceptable and um, it's an abuse of power, which is what I said at the time. So it's fantastic news, I'd like to say. Also, I'd just like to say um, a huge thank you to those who supported me during that time, especially uh, my girlfriend Jasmine, who stood by me the whole time, um, uh, family, friends, and uh, subscribers who sent me messages um, of goodwill and stuff like that. So I'm hugely, hugely grateful for all of that support. And it made a huge difference, it really did. I'd like to also say that I was diagnosed, actually, and none of you will really know this, with Graves' disease um, three years ago. And I have been cleared recently of, of, of Graves' disease now. I'm fully cured, fully healed, so I am ready to come back um, uh, to the channel. I haven't been doing as much um, as I was, um, things like interviews and updates and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I am back fully 100% fit and ready to take on new challenges. Also, we have Jasmine now on board. She did a, a great interview with Diana Gomez there a while ago. And I just want to make sure that if anything were to happen to me, for, right, God forbid, um, that there is somebody there who can keep the channel going. So Jasmine has been learning the ins and outs of the channel, how it runs. Um, getting to know some of the buskers, stuff like that. So I'm absolutely delighted to, ha to have Jasmine on board and um, um, extremely grateful. And thank you to you guys who were so kind to her in the comment sections um, of the interview that she did there a while ago. I also actually want to do a quick shout out for all those people who have been sending me PayPal over the last a uh, long while it really really has helped me a lot um, to get through it's been very difficult times so i just want to give um, a quick shout out i very i always in fact 
um, respond through PayPal, but I'm not entirely sure if those messages are going through or not. So I just want to give a quick shout out um, to those people who have been a great support. Ude uh, Nadin, I hope I haven't uh, destroyed your name, Ude. Thank you so much. You've been very, very kind. Shay um, Hessian, thank you so much, Shay. You've been absolutely great, and I'm looking forward to seeing you back in Dublin um, at some stage. Um, we have uh, David Sorrenti. Thank you so much, David. You've been extremely kind. Robert Leonard has been great. Uh, Patrick Quinlan, thank you. Jos van der Leel, thank you so much, Jos. And it was fantastic seeing you over in Dublin as well. And we look forward to having you back here again uh, sometime soon. Uh, thanks again. Uh, Lizeel Soriano, thank you so much, uh, Lizeel. You've been um, uh, uh, such a great support and it's usually appreciated. Uh, Nicholas Stadden, thank you, Nicholas. You're such a gentleman, um, always so very, very kind and, um, and supportive. I usually appreciate that. Uh, Holger uh, Staggart, Thank you so much, Holger, and you've been great um, uh, support in the comment section to all the buskers, to myself. Um, you've just, I've been absolutely fantastic. Pete uh, van der Vloot, thank you, Pete, so much. You are so consistently, so consistently kind, and um, a really, really generous guy. And it was fantastic to see you on Gravel Street as well when you visited Dublin, and we all look forward to seeing your return as well. Um, <clears throat> lastly, but certainly not least, <clears throat> Cheryl Campbell. Thank you so much, Cheryl. You are a very, very special person indeed. You've been an enormous, enormous support to myself, to Jacob, to many of the buskers. But for myself personally, you've been an absolute rock. You've you helped me get through some very, very dark times and some very challenging times. You've always been there as a wonderful, wonderful uh, support. So thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you so much to all of you guys. You've been absolutely fantastic. And I'm usually grateful to every single one of you, as I'm usually grateful to everybody who um, watches the videos, who leaves comments, who supports um, uh, the buskers who feature on the channel and there is going to be some um, exciting new uh, buskers going to be featuring soon on Dublin City today uh, like I say I'm coming back with it now um, uh, full of energy we will be making an appearance back on Facebook I'm going to do an, uh, another update later on probably next week about that and also I will be touring back around the country as well I've just been waiting for the days to get a little bit longer so we have more light to work with and the weather to get a little better I've been turning up the places and it's gotten dark really quick and it's bad weather and I didn't get to do as much as I would like to do so I will be getting back onto those touring um, around the country and I will do an update um, um, to clarify exactly where I'm going, what I'm going to be doing, all that kind of stuff. So there's going to be new stuff coming to Dublin City today over the next few months. Exciting stuff you guys are absolutely, absolutely going to love. I'm going to pick up doing more interviews as well and um, yeah we're going to have a lot of fun. So I just want to say once more thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting me and uh, the channel um, over the last while and I suppose I'll finish on um, the court case um, as that was the main thing it was about. I just want to say um, that I have a huge amount of respect for the law and that is the reason why I stood my ground. It was because the law was being broken that day but it certainly was not being broken by me and um, I'm not prepared um, uh, to let anybody um, abuse uh, my rights or DCT uh, for that matter. Um, so I have absolutely no problem with Angarda Shea Connor whatsoever, you know, there's good and bad in every walk of life, uh, no matter what it is. So I have no issues with those. Like I had said before, I have respect for the law and that's the reason I took the stance I took because um, it's the law that keeps everybody in check, not just us, it keeps the government, it keeps the police, it keeps everyone in check, or at least it's supposed to, uh, when it works properly. In this case, the law has worked properly, and I'm very, very grateful to the judge um, uh, for acquitting me on the charge. So, thank you all so much again, folks. I really, really appreciate all your support. I have nothing but love for every single one of you and I wish you all a lot of peace, a lot of love from Dublin City and things are about to get very, very so exciting here on the channel so please do stay tuned. Chat to you soon guys. Take care for now. Bye bye.